What if bedtime was the start of the day instead of the end? This is the reality for many creatures on Earth. That's right, we're talking about nocturnal animals. These are the critters that sleep during the day and come alive at night. From the silent flight of owls to the sneakiest of sneaky foxes, we're taking a peek at the mysterious lives of these nighttime wanderers. It's time to turn on your flashlight and shed some light on these nighttime creatures. Want a souvenir of our journey? Check out our fact-filled activity sheets for sale now in the Socratica Foundation store. Find the links below. When the sun sets and we're winding down for the night, nocturnal animals are just getting started. Animals who are active during the night are called nocturnal animals. On the other hand, animals who are active during the day, like humans, are called diurnal. But it doesn't end there. There's actually a special term for animals who are active during the in-between times of dusk and dawn, crepuscular animals. That's a fun word to say, crepuscular. Crepuscular animals include cats, some owls, and even some species of bats. But today, we'll be focusing on animals who thrive during the dark hours of the night. First up, we have the owl, one of the most famous nocturnal birds. I guess we call people night owls for a reason. Owls are a fascinating nocturnal bird known for their silent flight, large eyes, and ability to turn their heads up to 270 degrees. That's almost all the way around. They have quiet feathers that muffle sounds and allow them to sneak up on their prey. Owls communicate through hoots, which can signal territory or attract a mate. Owls also have excellent night vision, which helps them hunt for food like insects, small mammals, and other birds in the dark. These birds help us to control rodent populations because mice and rats are some of their favorite midnight snacks. Speaking of owls' favorite snacks, mice and rats are also nocturnal creatures. Both mice and rats are known for their flexible behavior and can live in many different environments. These rodents have sharp teeth, which help them catch food and create shelter. They also have a great sense of smell and hearing, which helps them avoid predators and find food at night. Mice and rats also have many, many babies every year, anywhere from six to 10 litters yearly. While you might not hear a mouse coming, you definitely would be able to hear a cricket. Crickets fill the night air with their chirping sounds that come from males rubbing their wings together. Yep. You heard that right. It's only male crickets that chirp. Crickets also have extremely strong legs that allow them to jump about one meter at a time. That's amazing, given that these bugs are pretty small, usually just a couple of inches long. Cricket's diet can consist of fungi, small plants, and even the occasional small insect. They're not picky. You can count on crickets to adapt to many different environments. Hot, cold, they'll make it work. You know who else is a survivor? Cockroaches. Cockroaches are very resilient animals who are famous for staying alive even in the most difficult conditions. They prefer dark, moist areas and come out at night to search for food, which can include anything from plants to food scraps. Humans often consider cockroaches to be pests because they reproduce quickly and because they thrive in dirty and unsanitary places. You can find these bugs anywhere from tropical forests to inside the walls of our homes. Speaking of bugs that can survive in the city, be sure to check out our other video on city bugs. Anyway, on to a cuter nocturnal animal. Foxes are medium-sized nocturnal mammals that are part of the Canidae family, which also includes dogs and wolves. They have a sharp snout, fluffy tail, and cunning behavior. Foxes are solitary hunters, using their great sense of hearing, smell, and sight to locate prey at night. An interesting fact about foxes is the unique sounds they make. They can make a wide range of sounds, including a startling bark that can sound like a human scream. This sound is often heard at night and can be their way of communicating with each other, especially during the breeding season. While we're on the subject of mammals, it's time to talk about bats. Bats are the only mammals naturally capable of true flight. Their wings have a similar structure to our arms and hands. Bats play a crucial role in the ecosystem by eating insects, including pests that can damage crops, and some species are important pollinators for fruits and flowers. 
Bats use echolocation to navigate and find food in the dark. This is when they emit sound waves that bounce off objects, helping them to get a mental picture of their surroundings. It makes sense. Echo means sound and location means place. Despite misconceptions, most bats are not harmful to humans and are actually quite beneficial to our ecosystems. Remember how we said bats eat insects? Well, one of those unlucky nocturnal insects is the moth. One way to think about nocturnal animals is if you think about a prey animal, there is often its predator awake at the same time. Even though moths are creatures of the night, they are very attracted to light. You've probably seen them banging against a lamp or window at some point. Moths have a unique ability to fly in zigzag patterns, which helps them avoid predators. Moths are very similar to butterflies, and you might be wondering how to tell the difference between them. Moths are nocturnal, usually fuzzier, and have feathery antenna, while butterflies are diurnal, more colorful, and have skinny antenna with balls at the end. Want to remember the special colors of nocturnal animals? Get out your colored pencils and markers and capture different nocturnal animals in our coloring pages. Follow the links below for our activity pages that keep the smart fun going after the video. But we're not finished yet. Here's some more interesting info about nocturnal creatures. There's a big group of nocturnal animals that sort of look and act similar to each other. These animals include the possum, skunk, badger, porcupine, hedgehog, and the nine-banded armadillo. They all spend the night scouting around for food in the soft ground and the leaf litter and the rotted tree stumps. They are all looking for things like worms, grubs, and other bugs and insects. They are also happy to eat fruit, vegetables from your garden, eggs from other animals, pet food, just about anything they can get their paws on. We call animals that will eat almost anything omnivores. Omni meaning all and vor meaning eat, like the related word devour. Raccoons are similar to the previous group of animals, but can be a little more mischievous. They can be recognized by their black mask and ringed tail. Found mainly in North America, they are especially skilled at using their front paws, which have sensitive touch, almost like human hands, allowing them to grasp objects and even open containers to find food. They are often seen scavenging in urban areas at night, taking advantage of the darkness to explore trash cans and gardens. When you're in a garden in the moonlight, you just might hear our next animal's beautiful song. Nightingales are small brown birds known for their powerful and melodic nighttime singing. They can be found in Europe, Asia, and parts of Africa. The male nightingale is famous for singing during the night to attract a mate and to mark his territory. Nightingales are migratory birds spending their breeding season in cooler areas and traveling to warmer areas for the winter. Despite their plain appearance, the nightingale's song has inspired poets and musicians for centuries, making them one of the most celebrated birds in literature and music. Here's another night singer. Well, night croaker, anyway. Frogs are amphibians that come alive at night with their distinctive singing or croaking sounds. Frogs have moist skin, long legs for jumping, and bulging eyes that help them see at night. The sounds frogs make at night are mostly from males who croak to attract females or to warn other males away from their territory. Each species has its own unique call, and some can be heard from miles away. Frogs Frogs are also known for their life cycle, starting as eggs in water, then turning into swimming tadpoles, and eventually morphing into adult frogs that hop around on land. We've spent a lot of time thinking about the sounds of the night, but don't forget the special sights. Have you ever seen tiny lights twinkling in the grass and hovering around? Fireflies, also known as lightning bugs, are small insects famous for their ability to produce light. This magical light show that decorates the night is actually a form of communication. The light comes from a chemical reaction in their abdomens, a process called bioluminescence. Did you know that fireflies are beetles? You can watch our beetles video next and learn more about fireflies and their thousands of relatives. As our nighttime journey comes to an end, we've discovered just how active the world becomes under the cover of darkness. From the silent flight of owls to the musical 
strokes of frogs and the mesmerizing glow of fireflies, nocturnal animals have learned to thrive in the night. So, the next time the sun sets, remember that it's not just the end of the day, but the beginning of a vibrant nocturnal world. Now it's time to watch another great video from Socratica Kids. You get to pick. And don't forget to check out our coloring pages and activity sheets made just for you, linked below. Did you know that these videos are made possible by our donors? The Socratica Foundation is committed to making free educational resources for kids. Donate today.